Well, good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Q Sports International, welcome to the 2015 U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships. We're coming to you live from the Predator Arena here at the Rio in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this event is sponsored by Predator, the official Q of the U.S. Open, Kamui, the official tip of the U.S. Opens, and Omega Billiard Supply, the official store right here at the U.S. Open 8 and 10 Ball Championships. I'd also like to take a second to recognize our associate sponsors, our great host here for three years, the Rio Hotel, Diamond Billiard Products, Simona's Cloth, Cyclop Pool Balls, The Magic Rack, and Bad Boys Billiard Productions. Thanks to all these companies for their support of CSI events. It's now my pleasure to turn it over to our commentary team, Jay Helfert and Bobby Cotton LeBlanc, for player introductions and for commentary on this match. Thank you, Kenneth. What do you think, Bobby? Well, I don't know who to pick here. I think it's close, but because of the way, because of the way that Shane breaks, I'm taking Shane. All right. Dennis won the leg. He's breaking. These players are pretty familiar to all our fans out there. Dennis's big win this year was he won the Super Billiards Expo. But he's a contender in every tournament he plays in. He was actually fourth in the U.S. Open 10 ball three days ago. He got knocked out by Shane, interesting enough. Shane beat him on the loser side, and Shane ended up third. Now his chance for a rematch playing eight ball. He stayed down this a long time. He was down a long time. And look yeah, at that. Why? He spent all that time, and then he broke the balls and the, sent the cue ball into the pocket. I never seen him stay down in a shot so long before. What was he, he doing? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. But hopefully and he won't drew do it. That. Then it went then, right toward the corner. Yeah, exactly. He drew the cue ball right in the pocket. So, uh, so much for thinking long. Well, I got Dennis as a slight favorite, but I, I'm, I'm kind of inclined to agree with you. I'm shooting a three here. Three, four, one, boom, boom, boom. What do you think? Looks good to me. But you know what I mean? Shooting again, you know, you, know, you know what I've noticed is uh, just working earlier today, we can do a lot of speculating up here, but it's it's all about what the player likes, what he sees. Yes. Because it's, you know, it, it's what, look good, what looks good to them. Kenny loves to speculate on what's the – right way to go in the rack and and i i noticed that with ken is uh, about half the time they didn't even shoot the balls he picked <laughs> so i'm not going to go out on a limb and say shoot the stripes or shoot the solids i'm gonna i'm gonna it's whatever they want to do you're yeah, right exactly. about that then we can talk about it which it, we have a lot more intelligent discussion when we know if they're taking stripes or solid uh, and and just because you like one of the either stripes or solids or i like them doesn't mean that's what they like. likes yeah exactly so it looks pretty silly when i start speculating on how i'd shoot the shoot the solids and then he gets up there and shoots a stripe yeah <laughs> and and even beyond that they have their own patterns you know what feels comfortable for them and far be it from me to criticize some of the best players in the world uh it's a little different than what we were looking last night, watching last night, watching two very good amateurs play, and yeah, they, were they got stymied. They got stymied. I don't see that happening in these matches. These guys no. play with, a, you know, there's a reason why they're top players, Bobby, and you know it. They play with a lot of confidence. Yeah, he's, yeah, look at this. He's, this is sitting, all these are sitting nice. Look. Yeah. Shane, Shane and Dennis are players. They're not afraid to go for a shot. If they see a possibility to win a game, they're going to go for it. Yeah. They, these are not timid players. Let's just put it that way. And most of these top pros are very much like that. You know, they they all learned a long time ago that the best defense is a good offense, and if you run out, you don't let your opponent come to the table. Because when you're playing a good player. You want to keep him in his chair. You let him come to the table, even a kick shot, they're able to kick a ball in and, and run out on you. 
this was a really nice out here, wasn't it, Jay? Yeah. I'm so glad because I'm tired of trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you really, and me both. I'm worn out, baby. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I'm just tired. I mean. Well, let's. It, we can make it easy on ourselves. That's what I'm trying to say. We let's do it. it. Let's, yeah, let, let's, I'm let's sick let, of trying let, to figure let, it out. Let's let them figure it out. Let's talk about our books. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I yeah. like your book, Bobby. I, and it, I like it, yours. Uh, you you're you were you were an outlaw well <laughs> yeah, you know you were an outlaw by association because yeah. the guys you hung out with i knew most of those people but some of them were pretty scary <laughs> bank and freddie got on there on the az billiards one time you know freddie the beard he yeah. says uh he's robert played really good on the bar table when he was in chicago he says it's a shame he was hanging around with those people because i was hanging around chicago with some bad dudes. oh yeah i know i know yeah but you know they were nice to me. There's one of those guys now. What's the guy's name? Greg Hauser. Be careful of him. Watch right. out for him. He's a total gangster. <laughs> yeah, a total gangster. Uh, the Godfather of the uh, what are they? What is that? The Imperial Valley, wherever he is. Yeah. Uh, uh. There's another one walking up. Dick Clark. He's over on the side. Oh yeah. Another. Oh, another. Yeah. That's a fine pair to draw to. Those two. Yeah. Well, that's your running mates, man. Yep. They're the only two left in my book that's not in jail or dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. No, I think Greg's out on bail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, he's coming up here. He's going to hit me, man. Oh, Oscar's playing. Uh, is Oscar playing a match over there? Yeah, he's going to be. I think so. I don't know. Who's who's that down there? It looks like Johnny. It looks like Johnny. Yeah. But Rob was out there a minute ago. Yeah. Johnny Archer has more hair now than I had when I was like nine. What's how? He's got a full head of hair, yeah. Uh, you, is you it's think, all gray, though. You think it's a wig? Probably. I think he's got. <laughs> ask him, ask think, him when you see him. Ask him if he's wearing a wig. Oh, you might just want to tug on the front. Yeah, because he's seat. one of the guys that still calls me toupee. So ask him if he's wearing a wig. Okay, let's talk about this match. Okay. What what happened here? He made he made a ball on the break. Yeah. And he's trying to figure out which one to shoot. All right. And I ain't going to tell you what this, I, yeah. I think. This is this is you know this is always the the big decision in the rack because once they start. Yeah. Once you start, you got to finish up. Yeah. You can't, you, you're committed. Is he going for this kind of look? No, he's no, hitting he's this. That, that's like the 15 ball with that. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. he did not hit that one the way he wanted. No, he he was trying to make him mean to hit those balls. Yeah, exactly. He kind of wobbled that one. Yeah. Looked like he was trying to rub it in off the rail and he wound up hitting the ball. Well, fortunately, they'll both still go. He may even shoot that 12 ball now. I bet he shoots the 11. If, he, if he's so. not jacked up. I don't think so. I think he'll shoot either either the 12 or he'll shoot that 10 ball over there. Yeah, because the three's going to stop him, you know, playing position on the 14 if, when he makes the 12. So he's good. Well, how about that? You called it. Well, you called I've been it. playing for four hours while you've been up at the room. Uh -huh. oh, I've been running all over town today, man, during my break. I went over to my condo. First time I've been there in a week. See, he can shoot the twelve. If he hits the three, it's, he's gonna. He'll be okay. Oh yeah. He can. He can move the three out of the way and take that mm -hmm. fourteen next. He'll hit the three solid enough. Wow. He, you know. Yeah. He I'm did. wrong again. I know he didn't mean to draw his ball. Why didn't he just use hit like center a right ball? Hit? Yeah, you know, just yeah. Center right. Yeah. It, 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 uh, well. So Shane is. Uh, he may have to shoot the eleven now. I'll tell you what, this he rack just got a little bit hard. He can snatch it back. He's got such a big stroke. He can draw this ball back. Well, about sure he can. Eight inches is always got to go, right? This would be a big problem for most players, but for Shane Van Boning, I think he could. Well, he we'll might see. be banking the ten. Uh, yep. Wow. Well, he banks he, good. Too. Well, he, he's he's got he has no weaknesses in his game.
<laughs> right in the center of the pocket. You think I bank good? Y'all bank about even. Yeah, yeah right. Sure. He came to my house uh, uh, last year, and he gave me six to four, Bobby. Six to four in banks. You know how big a spot that That's is. Strong. Yeah. I won games, but he won more than me. Uh huh. You know, people don't know about playing banks or the nothing else. They think don't sound like much, but six to four is huge. Five to four banks. is a big spot. Oh yeah. I played real good players with five to four. Yeah. But Shane's in another league. When I was playing banks at Fat Boy's house every day for like a year, I said I play anybody with five to four in the break. Wow. You know how strong the break is playing yeah. short rack banks. Sure, sure. And I have a good break for you too, playing short rack banks. Okay, show me sometime. Meanwhile, Cut, you break and come to the side, and you got to cross the corner. Do what now? You break the balls playing short rack banks. Cue ball hits there and comes down here, bounces okay. off. You always got like a dead duck oh, across the corner. Oh, okay. I like that. Rather than like trying to stop in the oh, middle. Okay. Yeah, that's the way I've always broke is try to park the ball in the middle. Try, try, I'll try. the other way, man. Other ways like death. All right. You usually get like two ducks that's sitting there. But you got to make a ball. Yeah. Here's Oscar at the table. Oh, it is Oscar and Johnny. I don't know why Rob Saez was out there a minute ago. I'm checking out both their hairlines. They both got. I don't look at anybody's hairline anymore because I've got none. <laughs> I've got no hairline. <laughs> uh, all I got is the, the line is all that's left. <laughs> the line. <laughs> There's a line every day, no hair around <laughs> Hmm. Well, let's see what Dennis does on the break. Boy, he, he held his cue before he took the final stroke for like 10 seconds. I know. What was he? That one's a little better, but I don't see anything going down. Three, six, nine, tw nothing went. I'll tell you what. When you play somebody like Shane Van Boning, if you break the balls wide open and don't make a ball, you can find a really comfortable seat because <laughs> you're going to be there for a while. Look at this, too, boy. You know, I mean, these the stripes are all jammed up. I mean, look at that last rack, Bobby. Shane got out of line two shots in a row, uh -huh. and he still got out. And still, yeah, I know. He didn't stop him because he, 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 he has so such, good. yeah, his skills are so good. Look what he had to do. He had to shoot a bank shot, a long shot, uh -huh. you know. He can overcome look it. Look at this. Oh, I thought he got behind the ball. No, no, he's okay. He can overcome it. Yeah, if he does, it's like Rodney last match. He got out of line two or three times. And he made like three trick shots in a yeah, row. Yeah, yeah. So he won that match. Uh -huh. huh? Who played the first match today, the 2 o'clock? Do you remember? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. I've seen about a 1,000 matches. Like hard. Yeah. They're all running. They all run, I know. They all run they together. Also, yeah, I can't head. remember, you know. Oh, Jeremy Sosie played. And who did he play? I can't remember. Oh, okay, well, you got half the, half, the, <laughs> half the duo. Did Jeremy win? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, we played. Uh, can't remember. <laughs> you're teasing. You're teasing me. <laughs> oh, he played it. No, no, no. <laughs> I forgot. He played. No, not him. You're watching arguably the number one player in the United States here, and probably has been for about seven or eight years. He's won well over a million dollars in tournaments in the United States in the last eight years. What if he saved any of it? He's, he's invested very wisely. Good for him. He, Shane is the owner of two four-unit apartment complexes. No. Yes, he is. Really? Yes, he is. I actually helped him with those deals. Yeah, where are they located? In, in uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Good for him. Yeah. Good for him, honestly. Good he's, for him. He's, he's, a, he's a property owner, and he's in the process of buying another a duplex. Good for him. Yeah, I know he's no he's no sucker. He's not like he's he will not end up broke when he's fifty, sixty years old. Good for him. Cause look at yeah. I look at some of the players nowadays. It's sad. My it? age are giving lessons for twenty dollars an hour. Yeah. Great, yeah. great, great players are broke. Yeah. It's really and, the, and these are guys that made a lot of money in their life. They yeah. just didn't invest it well. And a couple of them was played perfect, and they, you know. Yeah. Well, we know. We know. Sad. Well, Shane was smart. He come to me about seven years ago, and he said that he had a quarter of a million dollars in the bank, and what should he do? I said, buy some property. Look at this shot. Nice shot there, boy. 
you know, that was not an easy rack. No. But, you know, he's the kind of player that once he gets in line, it doesn't matter. He's right now, he's on the way to destroying Dennis Orculio. And he's getting, he's getting ready to break. Yeah. Three to nothing. We got a good crowd for this match. I mean, you would think this is a, this is a marquee matchup, or Coolio versus Van Boning, but right now it's totally one-sided. And when you're playing, there's a little discussion between John Lehman and Shane Van Boning about which magic rack to use. I wouldn't know the difference. They all look the same to me. They all look like an arrow. Yeah. Well, they look fragile as can be. I didn't even know, but they do get worn out. I, oh, they do, yeah. Yeah. When are you going back to L.A.? Uh, I leave uh, this weekend, Saturday. I'm st I'm here for the completion of the pro tournament in two days, and then the next day I have to go. It's August 1st is my sister's birthday, a, a major birthday, and there's a big party for her, and oh. people are expecting me to make some kind of speech. So I got to go. Well, that'd be, that'll be cool. How old yeah. is she going to be? 60 years old. She looks good, though. She cool. looks good. Yeah, she's got a big network of friends in L.A., and I'm supposed to say something, you know? So. Yeah, no, that's going to be fun. Yeah. Look at this break. Is it anything, is it? Yeah, compare his break with Dennis's. Of course, that's... That's the thing that sets Shane a, a, apart from so many players. His break is so powerful. And not only is not how hard you hit him, it's how you hit him. Exactly. you, you got to have that pop. I mean, cause look how the ball's like spreading open. You, I've seen other players hit him just as hard, and everything just bunch up and look, sound bad. Remember Earl at his peak? What made Earl the best nine ball player in the world was that the, his break was so effective, he did not have the hardest break. I can think of three or four guys that broke harder, but he had a very effective break, and then, of course, he ran out behind it, too. Earl didn't make this trip from New York. Earl's a player that also had a very lucrative career. Now he's in his 50s, and... and he depends upon sponsors to make it to at events like this, Bobby. He cannot f finance himself. It's so bad. I mean, yeah. it's so sad. Not bad. It's sad for a guy of his ability. He, w he won a lot of money in his career already. And he's easily probably in the top five, you oh. know, players of the last – 50 years. Oh, absolutely. You know? He's the be he's the best tournament nine ball player I ever saw. He was even his let's say let me put it this way. His high speed playing nine ball in tournaments was one one speed above everybody else. He play, he's a, he was the first guy that I ever saw play on a 9 foot table and make it look like a bar table. Meanwhile, plus he beat you so fast you wouldn't even know. Yeah, he he he, he, he was str he was stringing six and seven racks every match. How can you overcome that? Yeah. Meanwhile, how can Dennis overcome this? I mean, we're watching an exhibition right now by Shane Van Boning. Yeah, he's playing good, isn't he? Playing perfect. He had that one game where he got out of line a couple times, but he overcame it. He's got that cue ball on a string. We've been playing uh, less than 20 minutes, and Shane's got four games on the wire. You know, in situations like this, Bobby, where we need to tell a story or two. <laughs> mm, yeah, I mean, because this is getting boring watching yeah, this there guy. Is, there's, uh, it's, so far, it's no contest. Let's see, if I was to advise Dennis, I'd say, Listen, you have to try a different break right now. Move that cue ball. Do something different. Shane's smiling. Somebody's talking to Shane over on the sidelines. I don't know who that is there. I can't tell, but it's always fun when you're winning. Well, you know the old saying, the winners laugh and tell jokes, and the losers say, deal the cards. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> you know? Hurry up and deal. That's right. Hurry up and deal. <laughs> Johnny Archer is leading two to nothing in the match on the next table with Oscar. This is the first day of the U.S. Open 
eight ball. It's a three-day event, just like the ten ball was. We had 77 players play in the U.S. Open ten ball, won by Thorsten Holman. He defeated Justin Hall in the finals. This tournament, we got a little bigger feel. We got 87 players, a little more prize money. I suspect first prize will still be around $10,000. There are over 40 events that are being contested this week at the BCA Nationals, BCA Pool League Nationals, and they also have the USA Pool League Nationals going on at the same time. A lot of opportunities for players to make money. There's the 9-ball challenge, the 8-ball challenge, the 10-ball challenge, which are open events. I think he made a ball. Yeah, oh, wow, he made a whole bunch of balls all of a sudden fell in. Let's see. Three, six. Eight and made four balls. Well, let's see what Dennis can do behind that awesome break. He's in a tough spot already. I mean, when you're playing alternate breaks to be four to nothing down to Shane Van Boning, uh, yeah, you're, yeah, you're in a bad good. spot. You're in a bad spot because even if you run out, uh, you got to hope Shane does something wrong. Notice Dennis has not taken the magic rack off the table yet. That, that's an indication to me that he's a little distracted. We'll see what he's going to do here. Yep, he can't, you know. Like I said, Dennis finished fourth in the U.S. Open 10 ball three days ago, and Shane was the one that knocked him out. Shane ended up third. Dennis won 3,000, Shane got 4,500 for third, Thorsten got 10,000 for winning, and Justin Hall got 6,500. So. He got a little funny here, Jay. Yeah. yeah he kind of got in between these two balls. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's going to shoot that 11 in the side, and bump into the 12 ball, I think it is there on the side. Oh, no, he shot the 12. Again, Dennis is one of those kind of players that can get out of line and recover quickly, which he did just now. Yeah. He's already in a situation where it's a must-win game. If he if he does not get out here, it's pretty much Katie bar the door. Hey, I'm, that's my saying. Oh, okay. Go ahead, say it. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he's all right. He'll shoot the 15 in the side. Yeah, that is the 15, folks. I know you're looking for a brown stripe, but you're not going to find one on this table. These are the Cyclop balls. They're actually excellent pool balls, but some of them are a little hard to distinguish from each other. Dennis wins his first game. He trails in the match four to one. He's got to hope that somehow Shane comes up with a bad break, scratches on the break, gets yeah. the cue ball frozen up against balls, something, something. something. Yeah, something has yeah. to go wrong for Shane for him yeah. to catch up, or he can't catch up. Right. It's not like a tournament where it's winners br winter breaks where you yeah. can run racks. But there's so much. This is so much more skillful and exciting and everything. Because when, you, when it's your break in this, you got to come with it. Yeah that break you know what I'm saying Jay you don't have it, time to like break them and break them good and then maybe the next break you move it over where you keep breaking you got to come with it right then I tell you I like this alternate the break I didn't at first yeah it's like it, it, your break is like the serve in tennis uh -huh. you need to win your serve I like watching it after watching this tournament I really like this alternate the break format I really do Yeah, you see what I see what you mean. He doesn't really hit him that hard. He just goes through the balls good. And look at this. <laughs> the the closest two balls are to each other like a foot apart. I know. Yeah. And there's like one ball on the rail. <laughs> you give Shane Van Boning a layout like this and he's probably something like maybe a 40 or 51 fa oh, 50 yeah. to 1 favorite to run out. Yeah. Something like that real literally. 
Rondo. Whereas, whereas for, for me, if with a layout like this, I'm about even money. <laughs> you know, when you mention them odds, is uh, talking about something because you know he's going to run out. Ronda Rousey's fighting in a few days. Oh, yeah. And they got, you know who she is, right? Sure, of course. They got her like, she's, you know what? She's like, it's either 9 to 1 or 13 to 1 the favorite. That's amazing. I'm betting on the other girl. Are you kidding me? Well, I, listen, the when, I see, the when, I see, when I see lines like that, I take the underdog, oh, too. Oh, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. Because, listen, especially that UFC fighting, if you if you get lucky and get somebody in a hold, it's it doesn't matter like, who they are. It's not like boxing. Yeah, that's right. Weird stuff happens in that UFC. Yeah, you can catch somebody all of a sudden and get their arm in a position where they yeah. can't fight, where they can't fight. Snap their arm off. I guarantee you Ronda Rousey can whoop everybody in this casino by herself. They ain't a, guy, ain't a guy in here right now that oh, has a Oh, got no chance. Not, not even a, these big guys. No guy. Bouncers, nothing. Yeah. She will pepper a guy in here. You know, I was a little guy, but I was pretty strong when I was a kid, Bobby, and I got picked on a lot. And you know what my move was when I get in a fight? You know, we got down on the ground, we'd be wrestling. I'd get my arm around their neck, mm -hmm. you know, get them in a chokehold. And, man, I squeeze hard. And let me tell you something. When you start choking a guy and he can't breathe, they quit. Oh, They're yeah. done. They, they they tap out, so to speak. So I beat a few I beat up. I, I won fights with guys that were bigger than me because I got my arm around their neck. <laughs> Remind me not to piss you off. Oh, well, I haven't done that. I haven't been in a fight like that in so long, so long, so long. Thank God. Uh, hey, I never, I never, I never started a fight when I was a kid. But they, I got picked on. You know, I was little, so I got bullied. Yeah, I got bullied. Well, the three goes by the six, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Then three goes. I hope we're not distracting you viewers with our stories, but. Well, I mean, what yeah. can you say here? Yeah. Really, I mean, what can you say here? Shoot the three, then the two, blah, blah, blah. What else? Can, what is I mean, it, it would be easier for us if there was some problems with the rack where balls were all tied up and he had to make some kind of big shot yeah, and break nothing. the balls out. But Shane breaks so good that he's got every all, – all it is is just play position from one ball to the next, and he does it so well. Oh, look at Did this. Did he get out of line? Well, listen, to, oh, boy, I jinxed him. You Do you did. believe it? You, I jinxed him. You did. This is the first. Now he's going to try and kick this ball in. But I'll tell you something about Shane. He's about even money to kick this ball in. And if he makes it, he'll make. He'll have a good shot at the. This is going to be close. But it's a challenge. Finally, he's got a challenge. Oh, no, he hit Ooh, it bad, too. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe that he hooked himself on that ball. Well, you know, well, when he it was, was a delicate shot. It was. He had to draw it and keep away from that other ball. Yeah. He had a little bit of a, of a severe angle, mm -hmm. you know. But he had to, you know what? He didn't take enough care. He kind of just hurried it. Big game there, buddy. You know, just like that, instead of 5-1, to one, if Dennis wins this game, 4-2 to two and he's breaking, mm -hmm. he, he's back in the match. Hey, we got something to talk about. It just got interesting. <laughs> you know, you watch Dennis run out, and it, and it really looks like Shane. They, it's like the way they play. They both play so darn good. I used to think I was a good bar table eight ball player, but when I watched these guys, I realized I didn't know nothing. <laughs> you know my style of play, Bobby, back in the old days is just break the balls up and shoot. Just uh, keep running. Run, just and keep shooting the closest you, ball. Yeah, well, I'd shoot any ball. I'll tell you what, I could run out back then, man. I could run out all I, I, that was my game was get get up there and run out. But you know, in our day when we were playing in bars, you didn't hustle pool. You you had to play good cuz if you if you tried hustling, you could get in trouble. But if you showed your best game, mm -hmm. people respected you, you know? Well, I don't know your experience. My experience is they would line up the quarters because they wanted to be the guy that beat me and knocked me off the table. Yeah. Yeah. You you played a lot of big games. You Bobby, you were looking for good players. I never looked for yeah. good players. I pl Bobby, I played a lot of pool where we I played all night long, a dollar a game. <laughs> but I might hold that table for for 50 or 60 games. I know, believe me, you know? I know. Yeah. Whoop. He's not happy with the rack. Listen, and they had a bar an after hours bar in Cicero, Illinois, a, a suburb of Chicago called the King and I, right? 
and they had two bar tables, and this is with no exaggeration. On a Friday night, everybody got there at midnight. They would have $20 challenge eight ball, and they'd have like 60 quarters flying all down the rail. If you ever if you ever lose a game, you might as well leave. Oh, yeah, you're done. But I'd be down there, I swear, I, sometimes I'd win like 40, 50 games in a yeah, row. Right. It was all bad. Right. It'd be 10 bad players and then one good player sneak right, in. Right, right. You know there I mean? were one or two guys you had to watch out yeah. for. And if yeah, you got by the them, yeah. yeah. Well, I played in bars like that or in, in Southern California. Santa Ana yeah. Playhouse, I can't forget. And there'd be a dozen 15 quarters lined yeah. up on the rail. And you'd bet anywhere from a dollar to $5 a game. But, but, you know, back in Chicago back then, you had to play for what the previous player was playing right. for. If the previous guy was playing for 50, you had to play for 50. Right. You can't get in there and play. Everybody's betting 20 and you get in there and say play for $2. They, they, yeah, they ain't, right. going, no, they ain't they, going for it. They wouldn't let you. I know that. Yeah. Well, that was that was the, Sweet the was that. Cicero was the heart of uh, gangland in the Midwest back then. Oh, I know, I knew the guy that ran in that town. Yeah, Chico well, was my buddy. That's good. <laughs> it was good for me. Yeah, but that was so sweet. I mean, you had to play for what the previous game played for. Yeah, I've been in bars like that. Yeah, you can't play for less. No. Did he make anything? Nothing, I don't think so. Nothing. Can you believe this? Nothing he came went. up empty again. Then it's a little disgusted with himself. Nothing went. You would think as hard as you crash your balls and there's six holes on the table, yeah. something would. Well, it's, it's, it's it, you know, it's where he's hitting the balls. Yeah. And how, I, that's why I say you've got to move your cue ball around and find uh -huh. a good spot. I'll tell you, if I was playing in an eight ball tournament, uh, you know, I'd be, uh, before a match, I'd practice my break four, five, six times. There's no sense in practicing straight ends. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's a little late well, for that. I, I, listen, these guys can make all the shots, but you've got, what's the most important the shot breaks. of the game? You it's the break. you got to find the spot where there's, where there's balls going. Well, Dennis is hopeful that maybe Shane will make another mistake. I mean, uh, Shane did show a chink in his armor last game. Well, that was such an unlikely snooker like that. Like, he wow. got careless. Yeah. He got careless with his position. I'll tell you, the player I see with the best focus and concentration now is John Mora. I agree. I've seen some of his matches. And I bet on, I bet cheap, of course, but I bet with a couple of buddies of mine. And I always pick him, and he's, he takes it down. He's really come up. He was, he's been a good player for the last, say, three years, but he's come up this year. Who we got here? Somebody's here to say hello to us. Hey, oh, I know that guy. Who is that? Huh? He's a pl he's a player from L.A., but I can't think of his name right now. Somebody just came up by the booth and took our picture. You know. Hey, Bobby. Yes. We're famous. <laughs> wow. <Well, I'm laughs> <telling you. laughs> I'm joking, man. <laughs> hey. When some 15-year-old girl says, oh, I'm so excited to meet you, Mr. Helfert, then Look, I know I've arrived. Wow, he hit that one bad, too. Hey, where the one goes. Yeah. What did well, you tell me that story about that, that, that young girl? She said oh. she loved your book, this young girl. You, well, said, you April, apologized. April. She's yeah. sitting there with, like, all of her friends. And she said, well, I read your book. She said, you're Robert LeBlanc. She said, I read your book. I'm like, no, you didn't. Yeah, your, your book said, is definitely R-rated. I told her, I said, who gave you that book? <laughs> oh, good line. <laughs> and she thought uh, it was funny. She said, I yeah. loved it. I mean, you know, really, it's not yeah. really, it's not nasty. But, you know, there's a couple of risque yeah, stories yeah, in there. You know, right, it's like, right. but I don't know. if it, I know. That girl's a sharp look. She's a good little player, too. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. A lot of young people nowadays, they know what's going on anyway. They, they, they do know what's going on. They do, especially with our media today, you know, oh, our, yeah. commu our worldwide communications. Listen, if you're old enough to go on the Internet, you can find out everything. I know. It's, it's pretty amazing. It wasn't like that when we were kids. I mean, nowadays in pool, there's all kinds of DVDs, books, everything like that, where you, you learn about the game. Nobody told us anything. Ask we had to learn by practice and observation. Ask somebody back then, how do yeah. you do something like yeah, right? Yeah, right. They take a hike. I did. I was a good observer, Bobby. I, had, I used to say long ago. I said, learning pool is 50% practice and 50% observation. Watch good players, see how they do it. 
What do you think he's going to do? Shoot the four next? That's what he wants to do. Yeah. Let's see. Now he's got Shane's, to yeah, Shane's working a little harder now after that miss. Mm -hmm. He was, he was, you know, he kind of jinxed himself a little bit. You know, you get, you start smiling and laughing and get a little overconfident and bad things happen. You, uh, you know, I liked, for closing out matches, there was none better than Buddy Hall. He would bear down. If he had you 10 to nothing, he'd be bearing down. Look yeah. at this. He's going to shoot six and go back and forth, I believe. Yeah, I got, he better watch out. He doesn't bump that ball. No, this is. No, he did bump not, it. Not the six. I'm sorry. He hit it perfect. Yeah. That's 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 the seven ball, but he did what he needed to do. Yeah. Because but when you bump a ball like that, you better hit it just right. He'll draw back for the eight. That time he slid the cue ball over right where he wanted it to be. So game number five on the ledger for Shane Van Boning. We got a we got a good crowd here watching this match. Good crowd, nice crowd. They, they, they're in the VIP seats. They're standing on the railing behind the VIP seats, and they're lining the top two rows of the bleachers. And we've got a pretty nice worldwide audience as well, but I guarantee you people in the Philippines are watching because what time is it here now, like 6.30? Yep. Well, it's 9.30 in the morning in the Philippines, so they're, they're, they're tuned in. They're tuned in. We're nine hours later. Dennis Orculio is a very well-known sports figure in the Philippines. In a country full of great pool players, he is considered number one, and he typically represents the Philippines in worldwide competition. I wonder why Efren's not here. He was just here like two weeks ago. He was he played in that make it happen one pocket that Pat Fleming put on. That wasn't here, yeah. was it? That was in New Jersey. Yeah. I thought he was gonna stay, but you know, he came all the way to New Jersey to play in that event. Look at how much better Shane's break Shane's break really. Look at these balls. Yeah. Well <laughs> look at these balls, huh? They're a little bit more clustered together, but yet every ball will go. There's no yeah, ball blocking yeah. any other ball. No, he's just boom, boom here. Yeah, he's just, this is connected dots here. Well, it's just control the cue ball. He yeah. wants, I think he wants to slide over and bump into that six ball. Uh huh. Or draw back into it a little bit. All right, just draw back, little teeny pinch draw back into the six. Yeah. Just bump it, just bump yeah. it. That should work. Well, he bumped the other ball. He went the other way, but that's fine. Same, Nothing wrong yeah, with that. Same thing. See, I thought he was going to bump the six and shoot the 15. I did thing. too. I yeah. did too. That's, that's so what do we know about it? He might shoot the 13 next. This guy is probably the biggest favorite in any tournament in the United States that he plays in and he's consistently in the top three consistently and he must win almost half the tournaments he plays yeah. in in this country I mean yeah. he's, he's just been a dominating player for years now I mean he typically he typically wins eight to ten tournaments a year in this country yeah I mean even with the, the lay, low pay He's he's making 150, 200 thousand a year. You can make a living playing pool if you play good enough, but there's only a handful of Shane Van Bonings. And the funny part about it is, then there's like 50 or 75 people that if you play a little bit bad, they're going to beat you. They'll yeah. Beat you, you know. Yeah. Right. Mean, like yeah. I mean, there's a the lot journeyman. The yeah, journeyman. Yeah. Too tough. Shane gave Dennis that one opportunity, and that was it so far. It's a clinic. Watching Shane Van Boning play is a clinic.
Boy, he does make it look easy. Actually, what he reminds me of is the way Earl used to play nine ball. Uh -huh. I mean, you watch Earl run out of racks, and it was like as soon as he was on the one ball, you knew it was all over. Yeah. I still love watching him play his style, you know, Earl. Yeah. Well, he, he get that he, long bridge, long stroke. One, two, three, shoot. One, one, two, shoot. One, two, shoot. Yeah, yeah. One, two practice strokes and then shoot over and over again. He moved that cue ball so good, though. He really controlled the cue ball, too. The only other guy his generation I saw move the cue ball that good was Parika. Earl was a, Earl's a great shot maker. Yeah. You oh, know, yeah. He's like one of the best shot makers around ever. It's interesting. The game is... You know, very basic, but yet there's so many players had so many different styles. Mm -hmm. See how he breaks these balls if he does anything. He's, he's, he keeps putting the cue ball in the same place, and he's getting the same result. Four. He didn't make he anything. Didn't make, can you believe he didn't make a ball again? I don't understand why he doesn't move the he's cue ball like a foot over. to the right. Exactly, yeah. A something. Foot. Something. I mean, how I mean, can he it's, possibly it's, He's breaking the exact same way every time the from play. the same position, hitting the head ball in the same way. And nothing's going. And, He's you know, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. That's really it's really strange, isn't it? You think yeah. That, well. I'd find that spot where Shane's breaking from. and try if, you, to if you see Dennis right now, he's kind of uh, reconciled to uh, – Maybe moving to the loser side, he he, has, he definitely has a defeatist look about him. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah, look at that. He's he's yeah. not comfortable in that chair right now. Mm -mm. You know what we say in pool when you get when you're just burying a guy, you're giving him the chair. <laughs> it's just like getting the electric chair. You're giving him the chair because <laughs> that's where he gets to is stay. This, this four go by the side. It must be real close. No, he played the combination. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't tell from here, but, boy, yeah. that, but he's got it. That's what I thought he was doing. Everything's everything's out in the open again. <laughs> Look, there's nothing tough. It's just maneuvering around each ball. There's right, nothing. that's it. It's all maneuvering, and yeah. who does it better than Shane Van Bonen? Yeah. He's got a bridge over the eight ball. It should make that shot a little harder, but not really. He wants to roll straight down for the 10. He got a little bit of angle. You know, he might he might just use that five ball and to hold it. the cue ball. Yeah, just, just nudge the five side of the five ball. Well, he's drawing back to this other ball. Oh, wait a second. Boy, did he play that? Oh, it, that's right. That's that, that 14 ball we... It's kind of hard for me to see that sometimes. Look at this. He's all right. Oh, yeah, the 10 yeah, goes. He'll just draw back up the rail ten here. Goes. Go two rails. Yeah, right. You see that, what he did with his cue? He's going to draw from the end rail to the side rail, and the cue ball will go straight back for position right on that line. Watch this. It's all position. See that line? It's all position. That's the way you really want to play position, where the cue ball is rolling right along the position line. What do they call it? The tangent line, I think. Mm -hmm. He makes it look easy, folks. Well, he don't. He don't miss much. We'll be having another match tonight in this U.S. Open eight ball at eight o'clock. We don't have our players yet, but this field is full of great players. I mean, when you have a match like Van Boning versus Herculio in the second round, that'll give you an indication of how strong the field is. The next match is the last match of the night. That's right. Then we'll be come back at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Are you doing? Are you with me in the morning or is it Ken? I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. i got to look at the schedule. Yeah. I think so. Bobby, even if I'm not here, I'm with you in spirit. I, I'm, I'm a, I, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Uh -huh. 
There, there he goes go. the ball. There goes two. He made two solids. Now, you know the rules they're playing. If you should make the eight ball, it's got a spot back up. You do not win on the break if you make the eight. Look at this here again. Well, his break is, is far more effective than Dennis's. Look at this. If he manages to get these two balls off the rails, which he's going to be shooting the six first, where, where he won't bother the seven, it's like all over again. Well, we've been playing uh, 45 minutes, and Shane is already closing in on the finish line. He's going to hit this ball nice and slow. Is he shooting? Oh, yeah, yeah. Three ball. Yeah, he's swinging over. Yeah, now he's shooting the six. And then he shoots a five, then the four, then it's over again. Stop, stop. I'll tell you what, you guys, when you're playing like this, the tip of the cue feels like the end of your finger. It's like you're almost like you're touching that cue ball with your hand yeah. every time. That's how you how well you can feel it. This is like the fastest rack of them all. It doesn't seem like you shot enough balls. <laughs> I know. What's happening here? I, I, I think he did make two balls on the break. He did. Yeah, that's a, wow. Dennis is is like a spectator, like the rest of us. He is. Yeah. He might as well have a microphone. Dennis. What's happening, Bobby, is Dennis is complaining about the rack. He's not happy with the rack. He's talking to our tournament director, John Lehman, and he's not happy with the rack, and he complained about it. He, he was saying something, but it, it's not up to you and I. We've got a tournament director down here. Is that John Lehman sitting down there? Yeah, of course. Well, Shane's using the same rack. Yeah, well, oh, we yeah. know that. We know that. Really, what's underneath the complaint is I'm down eight to two. I can't make a ball on the break, and Shane keeps making balls on the break. Do something about it, please. Yeah. Yeah. Well, John Lehman told him, told him, you know, you gotta, you gotta take what we got. Well, there's nothing wrong with the rack. Shane's making two and three balls. Well, every we know break. that. Yeah. We know that. Dennis is just very frustrated right now. Does anybody have a dry bar towel? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he, yeah, Dennis. Look, that looked like that. Yeah, that was complete so, frustration there. Yeah, but that's that's really uncool. I mean, listen. I mean, it's he he hit be, that break. Nothing, there's nothing to be mad at there. You're just breaking them bad. Yeah, well, well, it's not nobody's nobody's fault. Yeah, but you know, sometimes wow. sometimes players uh, lose their cool, and that's what's just happened to Dennis or Coolio. Look, he's taking he's his cue ball. You know. If he takes his cue stick apart, uh, that's over. a forfeit. John Lehman's supposed to go step in now and forfeit the match. Yeah, here comes John. That's it. John waved chain off. Wow, the match cannot, is over. I cannot believe what I'm he seeing. He forfeited the last game. Well, yeah, but he, he knows he's, he's. Dennis is leaving. 20, he's so, I mean. I don't know what, uh, John is. Trying to talk to Dennis, but Dennis walked right past John Lehman. That's our tournament director walking out on the floor, John Lehman. Wow. Uh, wow. Huh? Yeah, that was a, a very frustrated Dennis Arculio. But wow. it's really, there's nobody at fault. It's just. No, Shane's breaking perfect. Yeah. It's nothing to do with the rack. Well, you know, there's a pretty big rivalry between Shane and Dennis, and you've got to understand something. Bobby. Wow. Applause, applause for Shane. That's not, there you go, there you go. Shane has, 